This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're Newcastle, head of Saturday night's fight night, live on Sky Sports and The Zone. I am joined by, it's got to be one of the best names in boxing, Cyrus Ramon Patson. Brilliant name. Thank you, Thank you very much for having us on. Can you break the name down and kind of say where well, the, the first two names came from? Yeah, yeah. Cyrus, um, uh, it's biblical. Uh, he was a Persian emperor as well. Uh, not that I've got any Persian in my family that I know of. <laughs> and uh, Ramon is, I think it's from the 80s punk band, the Ramones, like so. They Put were, it all uh, together and, and here we are yeah, now. This is what I am. My mum's mom, my called Debbie and my dad's called Sean, so I don't know how they got that like, but I'm not complaining. It's a great name. Nearly as good as my name, but you know, really, yeah. Um, Cyrus, for people that don't know, but obviously there are a lot of people that do know your extensive uh, amateur background just kind of give us a run through of of that in kind of a, a brief way if you can yeah uh, kind of spiraled from 2015 i think and uh, that was the start of my success so i got the aba finals i beat Fitzgerald along the way uh won the tri nations won the jbs went to the first olympic qualifier i had a kelly uh got beat in the fight before qualifying I beat uh, Marujan, German out there, beat Solomon Sissoko in a tournament not long after. Uh, won the Tama, won Felix Stam, uh, medal at Box Eye twice. Uh, so, been around the block a few Take your pick. Aye, that's it. <laughs> wrong with it all. Cyrus, just sorry, sorry to cut you there. Um, quite notably in that, just talk about how, kind of how close you were to kind of almost replacing where Josh Kelly was. Yes, mate. Uh, well, after Kelly had went pro, I was in the in the seat for Tokyo, uh, and then obviously Pat McCormack smashed it at 64. He moved up to 69. He got picked ahead of me to go to the Commonwealth in 2018, and uh, went medalled is what we all believed he would, uh, and then he's been in the pole position seat since. Couldn't really shift him, uh, club mate as well, and and that's what's happened. So here we are. Here we are. Listen, everything happens for a reason, and there's a reason why this is kind of the start of your pro career now. No, nah, definitely, mate. Why Matchroom? Why Eddie Hearn? To be honest, I left it all up to Charlie Sims, who's management, uh, and we, ha we had a few different uh, offers on the table, but I feel like everyone that I know of that's with Matchroom has never really had any problems or any quarrels, so I feel Matchroom's always had that good reputation. Uh, I know that well, with Sky Sports for a, a long year, which speaks for itself. Uh, and that was the, the deal that worked out best for us, so this is, this is where we went. So you'll make your pro debut at slightly higher than a welt weight, but that is going to be your weight moving forward, 147? Yeah, we're going to progress. I mean, we're, there's no point starting heavier than what I've boxed at for all my career, so we'll start at 69. Uh, and then as we progress, fight after fight, we'll decrease the little increments just to see how the body adjusts. So maybe the next fight we'll do 68 and a half and we'll just try to see a balance and see if we can get a 66, seven. If we, if we can't, we'll go back, we'll fill into a, a big super weller. It must be great as well that obviously over the last year, the, well, there hasn't been fans of boxing. We had 500 fans at the Joshua Pulev fight back in December, but a thousand fans here in Newcastle is almost going to feel like ten thousand fans. Definitely, and I'm. Uh, I mean, it was always on the bucket list to go to the Metro, but after the the state that there was only a thousand fans, a thousand supporters, uh, change the arenas. I think it's going to be much more condensed, better atmosphere, and it's just going to it's going to be electric. Like I mean, I've been to so many Newcastle shows in the past, and there's not many atmospheres that are very similar. To that, I mean, there's only Joshua Klitschko that was, I feel that was to the fights that I've been to and so for a debut, it's perfect. What can we expect on Saturday night from you as a pro? Whose style, if there is a style out there similar to yours, or maybe there isn't anyone, but uh, what kind of style are you going to have as a pro? Nah, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't like to pick, pick anyone. I'm just going to do my own thing. Uh, I think what people can expect from my amateur background that I am going to look like I've had a, it's not my debut I'm going to be cool calm collected uh, 
I am going to box, but I think we're all going to press press the fight, and we're going to mix it up. So I think I think everyone's going to see a lot of, a lot of different things. I was talking to someone obviously you know very well in in Mr. Chris Lloyd, and one thing Chris Lloyd did say to me was. Do you know what? And he actually has never said this about anyone ever before. He said, Cyrus is literally one of the, the nicest people you'll ever come across in boxing. Just remember I said that to you. That's what he said to me. No, that's, he's, he's mentioned it on Twitter as well. Like, it's lovely to hear, like, and I get on well, very well with, with Chris. Top love. OK, well, listen, have you got anything else uh, you'd like to add before we finish, Cyrus? No, just thank you for your time and thank you for everyone that's supported us, my sponsors. Uh, and we're looking forward to Saturday night. OK. Cyrus, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and uh, I'm sure we'll grab a word of you after your fight comes Saturday night. Definitely, mate. Thank you for your time.